Over the past year, I've been working on a few different projects which have involved building enclosures or frames. Uh, this is a great example of one of them. Something where it's, it's involved me kind of making the, the, the frame or the package that you're going to see, and especially when that's involved acrylic. I've experimented with a few different kind of methods for joining and making things look pretty, and I thought I'd share a few of those. One thing I want to make clear, this isn't me claiming to have discovered anything. Um, I have, I'm sure these, all these techniques are all kind of widely used, it's just a case of me finding them out on my own. So this first method I started using last year, it just involves uh, kind of perfectly cutting acrylic, uh, for this case I used a laser cutter, and then butting it up, kind of placing the edges next to each other. And if you've got a, a good enough cut, a clean enough cut, you end up with a fairly nice looking finish. To seal everything together in this case, I've used um, a chemical solvent, I think dichloromethane, and that does a really, really fantastic job of bonding together the different layers and making a very strong finish. This is a project I've worked on recently, and I wanted to try something different some other way to kind of frame it up and to close it. There's some light behind here, and this is um, acrylic, and the light shine through. And so it's um, a sandwich with acrylic and wood, but in order to hide the edges, what I've used is a PVC right angle. It spray paints very easily. The kind of PVC frame is then uh, siliconed onto the, the, the outside, and that does form a very good bond. The problem is the edges aren't particularly forgiving. I did a lot of kind of after work tidying up these edges just to try to fill in the gaps and to try to get a join that is perfect is a little bit tricky. So I do like this method. I think it's a quick, crude way to tidy up an edge. But in this case, the result wasn't perfect. This is a slightly older project of mine and uses a much simpler construction technique but it's proved to be very effective. It's been on the wall for quite some time now, but it uh, consists of a wooden frame, so just MDF frame behind, painted white, forms the sides, and then semi-transparent acrylic, siliconed onto the front. And so that's the only construction mechanism going on here. The acrylic's just siliconed on. It's not designed to be removed, and it's kind of attached on in these fairly obvious panels. The, there's a few downsides to this method. Uh, the dirt does catch in the gaps and they do start to come more visible over time. The silicon that I've used is starting to take on a very slight yellow hint. It's not much and it has taken a few years to get to that point, but that is kind of something you need to bear in mind with this. And obviously all the edges are very visible of the acrylic, so the cuts need to be pretty clean. So this is a pretty recent project. And again, it was another attempt at using the PVC right angled edging to construct a box. And so it's uh, made up of a variety of square panels in here. And I've used silicon to seal it all together. This one was a lot more successful than the last one. Everything kind of went together pretty smoothly in terms of the frame. The, again, getting a good join is difficult. Um, in this case, if it's not perfect, it just attracts dirt. But I don't think there's a better way to handle that. And certainly if it's not, as long as you're not right next to it, I think it works well enough. So this was a bit of a failed project, to be honest. I wasn't going to do a video on it. But as we're here, it might be a good way to end. Um, this, I had in mind a glowing cube hanging in the sky. So that was kind of the brief I set myself. I wanted a white acrylic, just a white cube, which glowed different colours. And so I think the starting point I think was all right. I've got white acrylic set up here, sealed up in a fairly neat box. The problem is with the lighting inside, and when it kind of changes the odd colour, you can see if I turn it off. And so what I've done, I've attempted to place the light away from the edge. If the lights touch the acrylic, from the other side you can see them clearly. So they ha there has to be a separation in here, so I've attempted to create some funky framework inside, which was a real pain in the ass to try and uh, work with and get set up. Nothing wanted to stick to anything. 
So this was a, a pretty much a failure internally. You can see on the bottom the problem that happens when the lights touch the acrylic. You can clearly make out the individual LEDs, which really spoils the illusion I was going for entirely. So the cube itself was going to be hung up from the ceiling using cantinery wire. And so it's got some fairly thin wire. I was going to have four runs running up to a central kind of um, plate from these corners and power was going to be supplied through a pair of them. So I think it would have looked quite snazzy just hanging up on its own, but it probably won't get finished. It'll most likely end up on a shelf in its current state.